Uh, good Friday morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, 9 10 in the morning. It's day number Ow. Day number one of, um, of Ponyville Cider Fest. Never thought I'd say that. Um, <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to what this weekend has in store. Uh, a couple of people had trouble getting in, um, had, uh, had, um, flying in last night, including Saber Spark. I'm not, I don't think I, I still don't think he's here yet because he hasn't provided any updates since last night. So, oh, it's empty. Okay. So, um, I don't think he's here yet, and um, he, he he said he kept getting screwed over by by uh, United Airlines. Good morning. Great morning, my good fellow. <laughs> uh, I just surprised Black Griffin outside. Did you really? I was in a car with my friends, with them, with these, with these jerks, and I and I saw Gabe outside with Claire and Scuba Drew, and I was like, oh, I must take my chance. And I opened the car door. I'm like, and I went surprise, and he went ah, and I went hi, and now he knows I'm here. Damn, I should have got it on video. Well, I should have too, but I was distracted. Hi, Crusader. Hey. How's it going? It's going all right. How about you? Good. Is that a go kart? Yes. Yo. This is awesome. This guy, I don't know who it is, brings his go kart at him and gets it. You're the guy? No, no he, he is. I, um, oh, yeah, you're the guy. So you're the guy that brings yes. the go kart. Yes. Yeah, I, I, and I got to sign it last year right here. Oh, wow. And uh, I'm. Did, uh, did. Oh, wow. Did, um,. Did Balto get to sign this because he um, uh, because he's huge well, he's huge into racing? Yes, I know he's actually uh, sat in this thing. Oh really? Yes, he's helped me out with uh, getting this thing in here oh, last right, John, year. Oh wow! Uh, so I'm he's a friend of ours. Uh, this is this is rain, yeah, rain, 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 rainbow rainbow crash. Wow. Okay. Watch your back though. Your phone might get caught. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Put your other leg out. There you go. How's it feel? It's comfy once you get in. It is oh, not. It is. For him it is. Ow, 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 ow. No, no, right. no, no, no. <laughs> My ass is too big. Oh, I said the same thing. Oh. It fits right in it. Yep. Okay. Just so worth it. I just. Oh. Well, thank you. No problem. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, we just saw Big Jim Miller downstairs. He's hanging with Scope. I'm not. Gonna... Is you is your back on you and Jody Benson? I just saw yes. that. Yes, it is because she's. I'm sorry, Gabe. I love you to death. <laughs> but I've been waiting nearly 20 years to meet Jody Benson. So oh, wow. suck it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna watch it. <laughs> Bourbon Street, suck it! <laughs> suck it! <laughs> so I was just repeating Joe. I'm sorry, you mean Captain Fat Belly? Captain Fat Belly, yeah, that's right. What? Remember, how could you forget that, dude? I didn't. I, 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 ready. I didn't. I didn't dress is ready. I am so excited. And now I can, and I tweeted out that I'm here, so now everything Everyone is... Everyone knows. Well, because well, well, as long as Gabe oh. knows, now I can say it. <laughs> so opening ceremonies doesn't really begin until 11. So, I'm just, we're just, everyone's basically just wandering around pretty much until stuff starts to, you know, be set in motion. And, so I think, <laughs> these elevators, you can... <laughs> You can easily wave at people while you're on the way down, or wave people when they're going up and down. It's not a con with Nora Murray without one of her fans. I just <laughs> right. Thank you for Christmas. Just ten minutes ago, for me, it was Bloody Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh. We're all mindless.
Atlas drones. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe it's a bit. <laughs> we get it. Star Wars awesome. Yeah. Mr. Cratchit. Yes, Mr. Cratchit. <laughs> <laughs> That's still a good movie. Yeah. Mr. Potter. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey, Red Gun. Hey. They've gone very low budget. <laughs> Hey, get it? Low budget AC race fest. <laughs> hey! <laughs> this is what, what, what I don't even know what this is. It, what, what vlogception or something? Wow, look at all this. Everybody's vlogging over here. Everybody's vlogging. Everyone's, no, 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 no. Everyone's imitating that guy over there. <laughs> Anyone who has a camera always imitates it, Mr. Ray's best. Yeah, cool. That sounds about right. <laughs> so today, uh, so last night was uh, racing. Gabe were going at it. Today was with a little bit vlogging. of vlogging. Over into that was a plane is here.
guess I love my Christmas gift from my way my Milwaukee this yes. year. <laughs> it's it. That, that was beautiful, guys. That was really great. Thank you so much. Just what is Gabe doing? Take over from there. What is Gabe doing back there? Thank you very much. Once again, please give it up for the Cyberfest 2019 musician. Please give it up for Claire Corlett. So, yeah, there is talking involved, I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> PG rated. We've never talked before, so. No. <laughs> okay. Speech. How are you? So good, how are you? Excellent, thank you. Um, uh, so, uh, just, in, just in case, uh, Claire, uh, who do you voice on the show? Uh, Sweetie Belle. Woo! Are you excited for the weekend? Oh, I'm super excited. I'm, and it's not just the coffee you're talking, I'm actually very excited. Thoroughly, <laughs> <laughs> like, I, really, I feel like this mic isn't even doing anything. I feel like my voice is just projecting, hopefully. But I'm very excited for this weekend. I'm very excited to meet all of you. I have brand new merch that is only available at this convention. I've got hats and sweaters because it's chilly outside. So when you guys see me at the, the autograph table, I've got a bunch of stuff. And come say hi. I'm really excited. Yeah. Sound check, please. Okay, cool. Now we don't have to share mics. I enjoy sharing mics with you, but. Uh... <laughs> okay, wow. next up, please welcome a uh, uh, first time coming to Cider Fest, Sonny Westbrook. Woo! Hello, how are you doing? I'm, I'm excellent, thank you. Um, so, uh, some of you observant folk might notice the t-shirt. Go Taco! So are you excited for the weekend? I'm just going to ask everybody the exact same question. The best answer gets a prize, uh, or something. <laughs> are you excited for the weekend? I'm so happy to be back in Wisconsin. I was born here, I was raised here, I went to university here. Oh. I'm a little weepy because the Packers are playing this weekend and I get to actually be in the state Woo! at the same time. Woo! I have cheese already packed in my suitcase. <laughs> I am so excited. And just to make sure everyone's on the same page, who is it that you voice on the show? Cozy Glow. Woo! Okay, well, we're very happy to have you here. Thank you so very much. Very happy to be here. Thanks, Kelly. Please welcome a returning guest to Cider Fest. Say hello to Kelly Sheridan. to have you back. Welcome Thank back. Welcome back. Awesome Not back. much has changed. It's a lot of the same people, same hotel. No, hi. You, you, yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, you guys. Um, who, who here has, um, what was it, Cider Fest, from Brain is working 16? Yeah, we're working 16. Woo! Who here was here for that? Woo! Oh, see, I told you, I recognize all you guys. <laughs> um, so, uh, is there anything in particular you're looking forward to most this weekend? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> That answer is now taken, no one else can use it. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, ate, I ate cow brains the last time I was here. That was cool. What? They're tasty. They're surprisingly tasty. Yeah. Um, well, cheese and hanging out with everybody and all the laughs and fun and smiles and um, not worrying about spoilers anymore. <laughs> now I'm just going to start making stuff up. <laughs> Season 10! Season 10, God, I was about to say that. I was literally about to say that. <laughs> Dang it. Um, so we always try to make sure to invite um, a comic artist, uh, you know, have some IDW representation with us. And uh, this year we are happy to be joined for the first time by the wonderful Mr. Andy Price. Woo!
comic books from IDW Publishing, um, and for those of you that also don't know, we just announced the official season 10 within the comic books, we'll be starting in, up in the spring, so we're not going to let this end. And please come by my table and see me, I'm doing drawings, I'll be happy to take your money, <laughs> all of that. Thank you guys so very, very much for having me. Uh, thanks for the snow, I guess. <laughs> but thank, thank you very much. Thanks, Cloudsdale. <laughs> thank, thanks, Cloudsdale, for the fact that we're nothing. Oh, there she is. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Another first time for our conventions. Please welcome to the stage the wonderful Katrina Salisbury. <laughs> song. Uh, who would you like to play on the show? My most popular character is Changeling number one. Yeah. And then my secondary character is Best Yak, Yona. I love Yona Pushy! When I bring these folks up, I want you to consider them the ambassadors. Uh, they're here, of course, as the guests and as themselves, to talk to you and meet you as themselves. But right now, just for the next few uh, minutes or two, I want you to treat them as the ambassadors for the entire production team that has worked on the show, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And I want you to give them, so that they can take it back home and give it to everyone else, all of the thanks and appreciation for the production side of the show. Please welcome to the stage, Jim Miller. <laughs> And Desiree Salazar. Girls from <laughs> people. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then I was on for the finale of season eight and all of season nine. And I also did the official art for Critical Role's Tales of Equestria workshop. <laughs> that was kind of fun. <laughs> Excellent. And Desiree, same question. Uh, what is it that you did on the show? If you can let everybody know. Hi, guys. <laughs> First off, love your cheese. Um, <laughs> let's just get that out of the way. I, I, not to interrupt, but I'm going to interrupt. Um, <laughs> We went out to grab a bite last night after they got in, and I believe I witnessed you, uh, a couple of you actually, having your first fried cheese curd. It was like a religious experience. <laughs> I'm on a straight cheese curd diet. <laughs> well, you're in the right place. So, so other than eating cheese curds, uh, I storyboarded for season seven, season nine, and Christmas special. Question girl. A lot of horses. Yeah. And sometimes horse people. <laughs> horse people. Thank you very much. And Jim, this is going back to you, sir. Uh, so, uh, who am I? <laughs> who am I? For those folks who may not be familiar with you, uh, you're doing it wrong, first of all. Uh, Jim, what is it that you did for the show? I was the supervising director on the show. The show's over now, guys, so. <laughs> now I'm just a normal person. <laughs> no contract! No contract! A lot of other, like, it was very nice that you guys stood up and clapped for, for us, but there's a lot of hundreds of other people who really uh, deserve that even more than me, especially. Um, and I thank you on their behalf. I wish they could all come to something like this. I think it would be really amazing for them to meet you guys and experience that love firsthand. So thank you very much for the kind welcome. It's, I'm really honored to be here and what I'm in my head calling the wake for the show, which, uh, hey, what? have you ever been to an Irish wake? It's awesome. <laughs> so this is going to be a good time, not a bad time, and we're all going to be here together, and I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> Agreed. Completely. Sorry, I was just making eye contact with that Sands over there. Good job. I see you. Thank you very much. Once again, Desiree Salver, Tori Grant, Big Jim Miller. And so I then present to you our lineup of guests of honor for Ponyville Cider Fest 2019. For some unknown reason, I've allowed Pirate Dash to come back. Oh, oh, he's pouting, he's pouting. Pirate Dash is pouting. No, I um, do not care. <laughs> Pirate Dash, come on! Uh. <laughs> Burn that. We're gonna have some words in a minute. <laughs> fight, fight. No, don't fight. <laughs> Jay Holler! <laughs> Jake Wyman! <laughs> Arma Demon and Dolphin! <laughs> Crazy Terry is here! <laughs> Say hello to AC Race Bird! And finally, say hello to Crackle's cousin, Cosplay! Woo! Oh, I got pie! Hooray! Woo! Has anybody seen uh, Crackle's Cosplay? Oh, there they are! Hey! I believe I caught a birthday! <laughs> Woo! Nora! Hi, Nora. <laughs> what are you doing? Nora! Nora! Nora. Um, 
So sometimes, like I mean, you guys can be a wallflower. Literally, oh, no. the wall. oh, no. not in line with the rest of the community guests, and I might miss him. But the error of doing that is now I'm going to make a gigantic deal about the fact that he's here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hey, Scope, come on up here. Come on, Scope. Is uh, not on stage right yeah! now. Oh. <laughs> what have we heard about uh, Saber Sparks travels and traveling? Oh. I canceled this flight. Woo! <laughs> um, I haven't heard. Do we know what's up with Sa Saber's flight? Got like, canceled like three times yesterday. Oh. He's had a really hard time getting here. Have you Have you heard? I haven't heard. Uh, so our understanding is he should be touching down around three o'clock. So he should be here in time for the. Uh, we have a who would win panel that's going to be happening. I do anticipate that he's going to be missing the Bronies Rec panel that, that'll be yeah. coming up, but it's okay, that means it's going to be good. They're going to tell on you. He <laughs> made an entire convention boo me before. I owe him a couple things. <laughs> get over, get over here. So, <laughs> do you know who this guy is? Uh, I used to. Oh, whatever happened to him? Yeah, playing theory. <laughs> Literally, nobody knows what that is. Well, you should tell us about him then. No, no, do it. No, no. Hey, play. I'm going to assume, I hope, is there a purpose to this? I, I just wanted to show some appreciation for <laughs> what whatever band he was in. <laughs> is this going to be like in the charity auction or something like that? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I so looked forward to that. Uh, no, just going to be like a sign all over again. I'll, I'll get it later, I guess, I suppose. Okay, well, uh, that's a thing that's happened. Thanks. Yeah. People are going to go home and they're going to Google and they're going to find my crappy old electronic band from like the early 2000s. Oh! oh. oh that's the point! <laughs> Thanks. Uh, do me one favor real quick, there's also one community guest who is not up on stage right now because she's over in the vendor hall probably still setting up. Uh, Pixel Kitties is joining us for the first time. And so, uh, at the count of three, I want everyone to yell uh, at the top of your lungs, okay. Hi, Pixel Kitties, so hopefully she'll hear us in the next room. Ready? One. Oh, wait, 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 okay. Just in case she doesn't hear it. Ready? You got it? Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> Underneath that, um, Crackle's cousin made it a thing. They wanted to make me a self community guest. <laughs> they figured, why don't you seaweed? Hi. How's it going? Good. Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you. It's been so long. It's been since what, BronyCon 2015? Yeah. I think we just keep messing, kept missing each other. Yeah, I, I, this, this is. Uh, this is your last con, isn't it? Well, it's my last con in America. Oh. So I plan to be going to uh, Comic Con Africa, but oh. this is it for America. Oh wow. So. <laughs> and, uh, and you look so cute as as, as Lyra. Thank you. Yeah, I made it, and I have my mom, my beautiful girlfriend, who's busy bending. Hi. She's so talented. 
Yeah, and, and this is my first time at Ponyville Cider Fest. Yes. Oh my gosh, are you enjoying yourself? Yes. I think this is one of my favorite cons. I really love coming out here and seeing yeah. everybody. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, now that now uh, what, now that now that BronyCon is done, I can finally expand my horizon, so to speak. Well, I think it's wonderful, and I really yep. hope you have a great time. Yep. I do plan on entering the costume contest tomorrow. Okay. Cool. Gonna be cozy glow. <laughs> Next year, my 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 convention schedule is gonna be is gonna, is gonna be oh pretty. It's gonna be pretty. I'm back. I'm everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere, I, everywhere I turn, I, I hear or see Nora. Oh my God! She's pretty much a con fixture at this point. <laughs> she, this, I, I, I've, been, I've, been, I've, been, I've been to three, three, pony, three pony cons this year. What are you doing here? I'm here. You didn't get to see my shirt, did you? Who is he? It's Charlie. <laughs> a, mu a much younger Charlie. How much? I'm not kidding. Uh -huh. Your shirts are thirty dollars, and wow. you're welcome to try them on. My year next year is gonna be is gonna be fairly short because next year uh, well, well, I mean my my my, my con schedule is gonna be fairly short because next summer I'm going to Japan for the Olympics wow holy crap that's so exciting yeah I, I went to Japan already uh, last not not this past summer but 2018 uh, in uh, in June June, uh, June of 2018 uh, for about a week this time I'm going for the entire games wow. yeah Man, I'm excited to watch your vlog and see yeah. how much fun you're having. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it is busy in here. <laughs> yeah. And I'm already losing money. Yak song. Yak song. Not very long. See you again. Yak How's it going, screw loose? Going good. Hi. Ah. How are you? Good. Um, I was thinking about um, um, about um, in addition to what I already have, doing uh, long sleeve stuff in yeah. case it in case the in case the weather gets cold, like yeah. like it was yesterday. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, five inches of snow. But there's calls for a dusting? Yes. Uh, yep. You know what's just frustrating? What is? Updates. When you, when, you were just, when you just wanted to turn it off and turn it on again. And it says, oh, you, you were trying to go fast. Do you, well, do you still really use win, still use Windows 7? Sure, on this, on this thing. It's only a Core 2 Duo. It couldn't handle uh, Windows, Windows 10, 10. If you tried. Well, I have Windows 10. I wanted to use Windows XP, but you can't. You can't win to use Windows XP anymore. Because, it, because the, the support is ended for us. Well, uh, end of life support, unfortunately. A end, end of life support. End of life support. Microsoft. We gathered here today. We, 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 we gathered here today to honor two lost souls of conventions that are no longer with us. <laughs> Did that? Did, oh, 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 just shut up. <laughs> you did. You did. I mean, the Padre to the Spiritual Son, the Old Man. Please tell me I did that right, because I'm not sure if I. Roman Padre to the Spiritual Son, the Old Man. What's this? That is the US, USCSS Nostromo. What is, uh, what that, is that is from Alien. Oh. oh okay. uh, remember the first time that we met back at BronyCon in tw 2013? Remember that? Oh, I'm trying not. Uh, that was, yeah, that was my first uh, BronyCon that I vended at. That, that, was, was, that, that was my first ever convention. Really? Yeah. Yep. BronyCon in 2013 was my first ever con. Like any convention or just Brony conventions? All conventions. Wow. Way, way, to, way to pick them. Way to pick them. That was a good one. Yeah. Hi, Lachlan. Hi. How's it going? Good. 
and just tape them to the wall uh, around Balto's bed. Why? Because he hates pamphlets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go do that right so, now. Wait, 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 so you're basically just trying to piss, you're just trying to piss him off pretty much? Yep. What? Exactly. We even took the tape and wrote hashtag horse famous above his bed. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I mean, do you hate Chase Elliott that much that so you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to call him horse famous and, 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 and try to piss him off with pamphlets? Okay, first off, I don't hate Chase Elliott. Okay, I, I, I know, I just felt like saying that. <laughs> I just felt like saying that. Second off, it's how we show Balto that we love him. <laughs> I'm off to go do that right now. You have fun. <laughs> you, let me just say, you are a terrible person. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, Screwy, this is, where, this is where all the magic happens, this sewing machine? Yeah, sure, and all the, the non-magic that is painful in life. So, um, so, so like all the like, like, uh, so are, like all the, like all, all the the image files like that I send you via uh, like, mm -hmm. like like like, like, like comes to this through like through USB. I'm guessing. You got it. Uh, what I do is like on this machine, I take the original image. Uh, let's say for for example, uh, sunset simmer, which needs to go on that hat. So, uh, I hop in here, if it'll go faster, send shit shimmer, so I digitize it so that all the, uh, diff all the thread, uh, the, the program knows where to put things in general. Uh, I just need to say, okay, I want it to kind of look like this, please put stitches there. Uh, let me change the dimension. Just put that to uh, 45, I think. And apply. And then need to change the density a little bit because everything's a little too thick. Generate stitches. Uh, where are you? That one? No. That one. Fly. So if you have, if you have like, and then uh, it dumps over to here. So save. If, um, so if you have like any, like anything that's that's mul this multiple colors, it will, it will, it, uh, like, like, it, like it has, it has the thread, it has, has the color of the thread already, already into a database here. Well, and, and I have it to tell it that uh, if I've changed the threads, I have to ch uh, tell it which thread is where. So I have to tell it when, when and where to change it to. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we dump it into the machine. Okay. Now, we go over to you, we trace it. Oh. So this is a little bit harder than it looks. Oh, it's it's not terrible, it's, it's just practice, all it is. Slow it down. Okay, so you place the hat onto this, and it and it, and it just shows it, yep. it, it, it just shows right. Oh wow! Directly on. That's cool. But once it's done with a certain color, you have to man manually go uh, go back in and change the thread, right? Uh, when it's done with the color, it, uh, when let's say I need to, I can leave the color there, and it'll automatic, and I can automatically tell it to reuse that color in a different uh, design. Once okay. I need to make sure that he wanted the something green hat, green hat, green hat. Since it's a green hat. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened before, but has, has, 
Has anyone ever sent you an image file like uh, like like that they wanted embroidered that had a gradient in it? I've done gradients. They don't always come out as well as I want them to. That's what I um, that's what I thought. Yeah, gradients don't come out as well as you'd want them in thread. They can, uh, but obviously not nearly as well as if you as you're painting. Or, 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 you have to have each different step of the thread, and that right. can get a little pricey. Right. Now it automatically switches. Oh. Okay. I slapped it out of your hand. Well, it certainly beats having to move it yourself. You bet. The trick is just to go just slow enough so it doesn't uh, miss stitches. Right. Now we gotta switch over to the to the center thread. Mm. Took what, like five minutes? Thereabouts. Now a little such a chill. Wow. Now you gotta take it out of the hoop. And then trim out the uh, the excess ba uh, backing. Okay. Awesome. Now you two can go out, go out and spend $16,000 and purchase a uh, machine. The family that sold it to me, sadly, the matriarch was, had a stroke, and her, none of the family wanted to use it. They just wanted, they just wanted to unload it. So I got the machine, the hack drive, uh, a lot of different hoops, uh, six thousand. But mind you, the hat drive itself can be. Uh, can be up to a thousand dollars. Oh, jeez. So, so yeah, it it was an investment. Uh, it's got me where I am today. I'm a stay-at-home dad, but it's my hobby for fun. Hobby that get hobby that uh, pays me, as the, as it were. <laughs> I mean, think about all, any hobby that you have. Uh, Think about any hobby that uh, that you put money into. Does it does it give you money back? So it's all what it don't don't be afraid to buy used. If it's a good manufacturer, don't be afraid to buy used. And 
nice. Such a chicken. Very nice. Take that person that is done. So you can mount 12 different colors of thread on this. Yes. However, I can theoretically do more. I can do unlimited. It's when it gets to a point where I've used all 12 colors, I can then say, okay, stop, change the color, and then go and then change the change out all the colors for the next set. Okay. If I wanted to. Cool. You actually have quills here, oh my. Yes, yes. yes. Writing quills, I have quill patches. Uh, are they, and, and, and these are actual pens, or, 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 aren't they? Doing the scribble. No, I've been doing those since. Oh, here we go. Sorry, let me just reach around here. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Look, look, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's Italian flag. Ah, yeah, there you go. Look at the. <laughs> Oh wow, well, it actually does write. Oh my. Da, 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 the continuity. There you go. I'll give you a continuity, 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 continuity. Is that Lord Helmet as a pony? Yes, indeed. Oh my god. <laughs> Evil will always triumph because good is dumb. What? You went over my helmet? <laughs> Although I guess the question is where would he put the ring? Yes, that. <laughs> oh, that's an absolute. That's an absolute classic of a. Of a, of a, of a, 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 a that's a parody classic to Star Wars. <laughs> Wait, you've never seen Spaceballs? No, no, I've seen Spaceballs. I mean, I thought you were saying that they. That they that no, they have. They have. I have too. Okay. What is this? You don't know Larry, do you? <laughs> well, well Celestia and Lunar are about to retire. I feel like they need to have a decent Are they to retire? They, they retired. Well, uh, yeah, that's true. I've been prepping for their retirement for so long. But, think about it, think about it. We saw them retire in a flashback from the future. So has it happened yet, for real? They're using the internet. Uh, Did I just blow your mind? No. I think I just blew your okay. mind. Wait, wait. Yeah, no. Say, say that again, please. No. So I can... The ceremony is so at the end. It is shortly after that, so... But, in, but they talked about it in a flashback. The time frame is not truly established. But they were so, going to hold that ceremony so, around that time. But they held off because Derek done blown up quite a bit of stuff. So we talked about maybe a, a week's month. Or in pony times days, or in pony in moons. So, with basically, how 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 long is a moon? A good question, which I've never been able to figure out. I'm convinced that they exaggerate it, because if you say that nightmare moon was sealed away a thousand moons ago, it turns out it was a week ago last Tuesday. But to uh, that 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 doesn't rem it remotely make sense. Okay, all right. Moons is really inconsistent throughout the first three seasons, but after that, they seem to sell on the idea of it being a month. See, when, see when, when, when I think of moon, I think of a lunar cycle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that is really Luna on her bike. <laughs> you have Twilight's Coronation, which is a flashback set in an episode from the future. Yeah. So, we don't know if it's actually happened, happened in the continuity. Hey. Continuity. That it's we've true. usually been witnessing. It has not happened immediately after the events of the big fight with the three villains. But it will be happening sometime within the year. We are, yes, it already has, will, no when, will happen. But, but, uh, but, but the question is, with the, with, with the structural damage that the uh, the T-Rex, Chrysalis, and Cozy Glow did to Canterlot Castle. How long did it take for 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 ponies to rebuild that? It was just give them a castle. They can stop an entire party in day with those problems. Okay, Discord should do that since all this was his fault. But at the same time, the like the labor unions and construction companies in Canterlot be like, Woo we're set for a moderate amount of the future. <laughs> But uh, we're making bank. I am so glad that we had that uh, the the main six did not end up going over to Carolot to be helping with that because if they did, then we would have had another pony out of work because of Twilight Sparkle. We already had uh, what's her name? Uh, the uh, Twink. Uh, uh, 
The Twilight? No, no, no. Moon Dancer? The, 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 in when she moved to Ponyville, she took the organizer spot from oh, yeah. oh, one. Amethyst from from, from Amethyst, yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, she took her spot as, as organizer. And there already is a party planner for Canterlot for the Royal, uh, uh, for them. So if Pinkie Pie were to go in there, oh yeah, she's planning all that there. No, you're taking Lemon Hearts' job! Twilight, she used to be your friend, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. Um, Silver Quill. Yes. Have you noticed something that when you look at, at Doom Reverse it says mood? Yeah. Are, haven't you ever been in a Doom mood? I'm in a Doom mood. Doom mood. I've, doom mood. I've been. I've been. I've been. In a, yes, I've been in a Doom. I've been. I've been. I've been. In, I've been in many Doom moods before. So Silver Quill. You're the curator of the Hall of Princesses? Or the scam artist, depending on how you look at it. So, wait, so does, that mean, does that mean you're in cahoots with Flim and Flam? I've, I've surpassed them long ago. Oh, wow. Even they have not tried to... Thank you guys, less people will appreciate that. <laughs> Even they have not tried to swindle the princesses, except for Princess Twilight. When she back before she was a princess princess. Twilight looks looks pissed off here. Cadence just looks horrified. Hey, Richard, if you see your animatronic pony, it's quite terrifying. Can you explain again who this is? Well, this is Princess Amore, who ruled the Crystal Empire before King Sombra. Is that even canon? Well, maybe. Well, it's, it's in the comics yesterday. Oh, the comics. Okay. Well, in the comics, it's now nebulous. See, when Sombra first took over, he turned to he turned her into a crystal statue and then smashed it and scattered the pieces all over. So, uh, uh, so for all intents and purposes, so, uh, 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 Sombra killed some pony. Well, actually, it's worse than death, in my opinion. See, the the comics were. <laughs> We're very uncomfortable with saying he flat out killed her. So well, I mean, they're not going to do that. Way in a Milo point, they're not going to do that anyway. But think about this: for like he said, if her, if the shards were ever brought back together, she could be restored. But that means she's been in a state of not dead, but not whole for over a thousand years. So, so she. She was mostly dead. So wait, what does that say about the Storm King? Because he kind of went He's having episode. a really bad day. <laughs> Week, month, century. So... He's having a bad Wednesday, Tuesday, Friday. <laughs> so, Princess Amore ruled before Sombra, yep. and then Caden succeeded Sombra. Well, well, actually, no, wait. The, um... No, I, I, I'm sorry. After Sombra, the Crystal Empire was in limbo for a thousand years, yep. and then then Cadence started her reign, threatened by Sombra, reigned over the Crystal Empire, threatened by Sombra again, briefly taken over by Sombra, and then got, get to back again, and now every, and now everything's fine. Well, except for Amore. Is that well, yeah, I mean, she's, she's, she, for, all I, for all I know, she's dead. Sweet green scoops. And why does she have Twilight's main style? Because in the blind bags, which inspired her role in the IDW comics, it is a recolor of Twilight. But she's a she's been Big Mac's avid fan throughout the comic series. Wait, but 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 all the all these ladies are after Big Mac. Yep, in the com, in the Zen and the Garda Gazebo repair. I've never read see, the comics. I, 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 I haven't read any of the comics either, so yeah, I'm yeah okay. What uh um. I don't know what's going on here. Who is that? That is Eliora of YouTube. And she uh, once posted that she could take a team of Magikarp, turn them into Gyarados using a Blissey base. I didn't know what that was, so I grabbed the only Blissey I knew. And I got a funny spell, but no Gyarados. So wait, this is this is a formula for Pokemon? Yes, indeed. Wow. I don't know what it means. But... And, and that's the... That's the... That's and, the... Yeah. Yeah, that's odd. <laughs> I, I just I don't know, I don't know how many times I got my mind blown in that sequence. Well, there you go. So Alto Scribe here, say hi to the vlog. What's up? Um, just um, I, I just gave me this to look at. It says Alto, you're so strong. No matter no matter what no matter what happens, keep um, keep keep <laughs> keep effing smiling. Keep keep bleeping smiling. My dude, Claire Corlett. 
I can't. I can't say that on camera. I know. I couldn't. I know. She, she, she actually. She asked me. She's like, "Do you mind if there's swear words?" And I'm like, "I don't. I don't have to care." I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have. To, I'm gonna actually have to have to pick. Have to, have, to, have, to, have to pixelate that. Yeah. I'll see you at your panel, okay, bud? Hey, just play, pixelate the word. But no, it was. Uh, yeah. I actually ended up uh, getting a little teary-eyed when I read this in my room. Because uh, Claire and me became friends at Winnie City, which is why I have Aww. her badge. She gave it to me at the end of the con. Cool. And then I oh oh, 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 oh that's, that's from Winnie. Oh, that's from yeah, Winnie that's City. From, that's from Winnie City badge. She came up to me at the uh, charity auction and gave it to me. Oh, that, that's from 2017. Is that that, that was was that Winnie City's first year? Uh, that was their second year. Okay, but they, it, it was it was the first after they obviously I see the baseball team after the Cubs won the World Series. Yeah, yeah and uh, I heard the other side has her actual signature that yep. she signed it at Winnie City. And uh, that's the one we became friends at. I saw at the sponsor center, we became friends, and uh, yeah, I, met, I saw her again today. It's been like two years since I've seen her, so me and her had a little bit of a talk about my condition I have. I'm assuming you saw it on Twitter. Well, um, I, I, I don't think... What uh, what was it again? My, my plasto enamel, my uh, tooth condition I have, oh. and I'm running, doing a GoFundMe for it and everything. Oh, okay. And uh, so I was running an auction on this badge on Twitter, and uh, Claire retweeted it and said, I will write something on this for whoever wins. A guy won, but he messaged me, and he's like, here's the money, keep the badge, and take it so Claire can write on it for you. Okay. And I brought it to Claire, and she wrote a very heartwarming thing that kind of made me uh, tear up a little bit. Wow. So this fandom has been so good to me. I can't yes. even yes, begin to describe yeah. how great it is. Yes. Uh, yes, you, 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 you were you were lost, but now you've been found. Yes, basically, both uh, spiritually, mentally, and physically. <laughs> the radio demon voice. So there is a handle. Yeah, there's a radio. Oh, who's going to work? It's an arcade. But it's probably Bruce Lee because he is the man of the hour. And indeed he is. Well, I'll let you are. Oh, now what's the ball? He's going into the blurry patch here. Mm. Mm. Very fascinating. Well, he's running, running his best, ball. but ball. he doesn't look like he's got his head in the game. Now he has his head in the claws, if you ask me. Hey, Nora. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God, the humanity. Is someone sitting here? Yes, Kari. Is. Okay. Oh, there's a there you go. Yeah. 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 So what you guys don't know is the phone was on for the last, like, 45 seconds. They're making it up after Yeah. <laughs> you said what? Cider Fest versus Truck Con. Cider Fest versus Truck Con. Oh. Right. Anyway, come to Truck Con. Anyway, come to Cider Fest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this away real quick. <laughs> okay, no. Dang so, it, Ray. Dang a, it, Dave. No, as a representative of this convention, uh, truck caught as a garbage fire. Oh. Yeah. What? Whoa. Well, I hope wow. that you on this panel were expecting to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never been. I've never been to. I've never been to uh, the con where they trucked. Me neither. Right. Go. <laughs> Yeah, no, I haven't either. I've never been invited, therefore the con is terrible. Oh! That's bad. I'm here. not biased. Mm. <laughs> the only, the only celebrity. <laughs> oh. No, they don't. Uh, All right. right. What's in this? <laughs> <laughs> Who would win in a fight to the death? All right. Me. Wait. Whoa. Black <laughs> Griffin or Claire Corlett? Claire! Come on.
Canadian. Game just got red carded. Claire wins by default. Claire wins. Also, uh, sorry. Um, he called her a chicken. Um, uh, BabsCon versus Everfree Northwest. What are these? So, I mean, like, I, I just like. So, hold on, hold on. So, garbage con. I didn't see it, so I'm asking them. Wow. I, I'm really. What? <laughs> what did what someone say? Away? I'm not representing this convention right now. <laughs> As if you represented any convention. <laughs> Oh, what about, what about Las Pegasus? No, no, no. Las Pegasus versus, versus Dash, Dash Con. No, 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 no. Las Pegasus versus uh, 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 Fire Festival. Fire what? Would you put the Las Vegas Con versus Las Vegas Con, right? So High Roller Pony Con versus this is Las Unicon. Vegas. Or are you just saying like like disaster cons like <laughs> Unicon, <laughs> Unicon, Unicon Big Dash Con? Yes. Is there question? Wait, is the goal to be the bigger the disaster yes. or the better con? The bigger the disaster. Con. So the better con would have been Unicon. Unicon was because I was. Who here was at Unicon? Quick show of hands. Oh, obviously, Ray, you were. I. <laughs> To this day, Unicon ranks among my favorite conventions because what? why? Yeah. Why? Because of how amazing it collapsed on itself. <laughs> it was extraordinary. The amount of tears and hurt feelings that weekend were like delicious. <laughs> wow! It was wonderful. Wow. So I wouldn't quite put it that way. Ends of my life. Well, here's the thing: the amount of people that got <laughs> The amount of people that like had literally no way to get home. Like every sponsor yeah. that sponsored got a, like a room as part of their sponsorship. They all got kicked out Saturday night. It was <gasps> extraordinary. Oh. Wow. Extraordinary. The thing, the thing about for me about it that actually was like, I guess like kind of the, the shining moment out of all of it was purely the fact that uh, <laughs> With Unicon, it was it was literally like a sinking ship, Titanic sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. Except except this time, like we somehow found a way to build lifeboats out of the ship as yep, it was sinking. As it was sinking. And and, and then, like the money that was raised just by the community, not just people there, but by the community who had no idea what was going on, just that there is a disaster in Las Vegas, mm -hmm. which isn't uncommon. Uh, <laughs> and I don't mean that actually. That was that could have been interpreted wow. as a bad. <laughs> No, let's just move Vegas on. Vegas strong, buddy. Wow. Vegas strong. Absolutely. Um, no, but like, God. it's yeah. No, it was it was just by far just one of the craziest oh. like rebounds yeah, I've fine. seen. It, it didn't end on a good note, I'm, but it, I'm it fine. ended on a note that I'm didn't fine. destroy the fans. So. To, to add on to that, that is one of the most inspiring moments of the fandom. Mm -hmm. Actually, probably yeah. the most inspiring moment of the fandom from my my perspective is because. It was a, it was the one time I can ever recall the like all of the different factions and groups yes. that run conventions or run media. Look at what I started. It was the one and only time they ever like put aside their differences yep. and said we're going to do something for the good of the fandom. We're going to do something together and cooperate, and it was great for like a week and a half. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, so... Yeah. For, like, for like a week and a half. <laughs> and then we laughed about it. <laughs> <laughs>